Hey there, everyone. I hope you are all doing good. This is Stasma for the first episode of Schlappy Patching. Today we are going to talk about Wrangler from the regretted Rob Hordike. And I'm going to show you how to make this patch thanks to the Nibbler. <laughs> Okay, now we are going to try the Wrangler variant patch from the manual. It says that we need all the switches down except async that must be up. All good. This will allow us to use only the shift register part without the accumulator, at least at first. We need two VCOs, square wave, one that's going into shift and the other one going to shift data. And then we need to feed the gate 8 out back to the XOR data. This is the basic patch. And then we need to listen, of course, to something. So I'm going to take that saw wave and send it to a filter. It's going to be our output module, the 100 grid. So far, the regular isn't patched back to the oscillator. We need one of the stepped out here. filter this a little bit and let's send the other stepped output which is the same as long as our offset switches are down this one is now set to control the 100 grit as well should also send the stepped out to the second VCO. That's basically this one's doing the rhythm. The one that goes to shift data. The result of those two is controlling the frequency of this one right now. But we could also have it to control the rhythm. also actually listen to the other oscillator. Enter the weirdo feedback patch. It will always create new chaotic behaviors. I've chosen.
chosen to keep this oscillator in ratio mode so it will only play division of this one. Let's bring some phase modulations from those two together. filtering from there on the nibbler if you start to add some of the bits we'll change the patterns As this patch doesn't use a clock, you need to be in async, otherwise you have nothing. Just as an experiment, I just shifted which oscillator is controlling which part. If I change the offset switches, We'll have some new modulation on the filter offset it compared to the pitch one. For the end of this, let's go for something completely nuts. Sounds like a dying mechanosaur. A dying modem. Now that we have seen the proper Wrangler patch, let me show you what I've came up with before I actually got the proper patch from the manual made by Eric. I decided to try by myself without looking at any concept about the Wrangler. I knew a little bit about it, but I never went deep into it. I never had a Benjamin or whatever. Anyway, this is what I came up with. And I actually quite love this patch. <laughs> the idea is that the clock is the distorted out of the 100 grit. 
This year is the younger grinder going straight into the, un the 100 grit. And we are monitoring the filter output. From there, the nibbler is sending different outputs. Like step 1 is going to FM1. Step 2 is going to the filter control. I have some of the gate out going to this little gumma attenuator here. This one's also going to control the 100 grid. So basically, it's a giant feedback patch. Classic. Let me put it in sync mode. As soon as you start to change something, it creates a new thing. I don't know why it reminds me a lot of Ryuji Keda's music, which that I love very much. It has that clicky quality. And one other thing that I've done is cycling this boundary and send it to the data shift input. So while we are in sync mode, this will only affect the thing once it receives something at the clock input, which is the distorted output of the 100 grit, once again. In async mode, it does something very different. And from there, this is only a matter of jamming it out. change so many things. just setting up a very weird organism. Now, if you want that patch to be rhythmical in sync to whatever other gear or doll we have, it actually does change the patch quite a bit, but we are going to experiment with that. You have that beat. Quite simple. And this is my trigger one output. I'm going to use that instead of the boundary and we'll see how it goes. Sometimes it just dies. Or something and it will live again. So as you can hear, it doesn't relate that much to the clock. So I decided to invert. This is good. <laughs> Happy accidents. That's what modular is for, right? Not only though. Anyway, <laughs> as good as this is, this is not what I wanted to do. So, let's kill it. I'm going to use that distorted out of the wounded grid again to the shift data. And now I'm back on this, some kind of weirdo funk thing. Less distorted and noisy than before though. Let's distort and noisy until we get to the async mode. No, 
now we are back into the grungy territory. quite like it when it's on its own though. Okay, that was my take on the weird wrangling type of patch. I will leave you on this messy thing. Thanks for watching. See you next time for another episode of Schlappy Patching.